You know what really sucks? Ultra Instinct Shaggy is so popular, they're already putting him in video games. Yet my meme for Ultra Ego Jack Torrance hasn't gotten any traction yet. What? Think about it. It makes sense. Little pigs. Little pigs. Let me come in. So in case you can't tell, this is going to be a follow-up to my previous Ultra Instinct video. Now I know what you're thinking. Uh, Connor, what are you talking about? It's already been confirmed canon by Warner Brothers. Ah, uh, yes, that's true. Now here's my counter-argument. SHUT UP! Because I'm pretty sure one of two things is happening here. Either the idea of the character is now canon in media, or Warner Brothers understand how Ultra Instinct is supposed to act as about as well how they understand Superman's supposed to act. He's out of line. But he's right. First thing that tipped me off to this was the aura. The color, as you can see, is all wrong. But like many people, I didn't think much of it because I thought it was a copyright thing. But then I started to look at the opening segments themselves. Let me explain. In case you can't tell from the clips, Ultra Instinct Shaggy debuted in the opening animation for the Mortal Kombat movie Battle of the Realms. The movie and its prequel have unique opening logos. In Scorpion's Revenge, we see title character Scorpion drag Daffy Duck into the Nether Realm. For obvious reasons. However, in the next movie, the tables have turned and it's Shaggy who's pulling people in. So what does this mean exactly? Well, if you know or ask anyone who knows about Mortal Kombat, they'll tell you that the Nether Realm is where Scorpion actually gets all his power from. Even Superman's unique dialogues in multiverses go something like this. You're tampering with power you don't understand, Shaggy. Careful with those powers, Shaggy. Someone could get hurt if you don't give in to the power. You could be a great hero, Shaggy. Notice Superman's choice of words here. Tampering with power you don't understand? Uh, what are you talking about? We have a pretty decent understanding of Ultra Instinct. And we don't see any negative effects on Shaggy's body either. But the line of, if you don't give into the power, is very concerning because not once throughout Dragon Ball have we seen Ultra Instinct be a corrupted power. Mr. Krabs, I am so confused. Well, fear not, because I believe I've summed up my point very well here. Shaggy, Golden Boy Shaggy, is drawing his power from hell. <laughs> No, 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 it all adds up. I believe these two openings were meant to tell us an extremely vague story. But anyone tells us that Scorpion has gone a little too hectic dragging people into the nether realm. So it's implied by opening two that Shaggy was dragged in as well, hence why I want revenge. To make sure you don't think I finally lost my mind in all of this, let me explain how I think it all went down. Consider the following. What if Shaggy was just wandering around down in the nether realm, and then suddenly that same sorcerer Quan Chi comes over like, Hey, hippie, wanna be all powerful? Like, I'd rather just have a sin. Sandwich man. Wait, what? I'm actually extremely malnourished. My dog's been stealing food from me for decades. Oh, Christ. Uh, all right, I'll make you a sandwich. But then you're gonna be all powerful and you're gonna like it. Right on. Why like can Scoob be a god too? I'm a cat person. And then boom, Ultra Instinct Shaggy. Is this completely stupid? Yes. Is this more of a theory than a theory debunk? Yes. Is there any earthly possibility this story was meant to be taken seriously or canon to Scooby Doo? Of course not, but then again, so was Ultra Instinct Shaggy. Theory debunk. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.